all right so believe it or not right now this is the cheapest yet the fastest rtx 4780 i gaming pc so this is a certified 4k gaming pc for a budget of 1300 dollars or even less anyways without wasting any more time let's just jump into the rtx 4780 i benchmarks and the cpu that we have which you can know what it is actually if you looked at the top left corner first up we got cyberpunk 2077 and a 4k ultra settings ray tracing till dawn dls has set to quality we were hit at around 40 fps so this is the highest settings on 4k i'm pretty sure with frame generation turned on this will be 60 next up we got red dead redemption 2 a 4k ultra settings no dlss even turned on so this is the highest settings on the game on 4k and we were hitting a constant 60 frames per second next up we got call of duty warzone 2 at 1080p low settings with the cpu equivalent to the one that we have and we were hitting around 200 to 210 fps and for our 1300 pc i envy you if you're actually gonna get that and the last game that we're looking at which is hogwarts legacy a 4k ultra settings with dlss set to quality because it's actually either a not so well supported game or a very demanding one we were getting our 60 to 70 fps without wasting any more time let's get to the parts and let me explain why we went with these parts first up we got the cpu which is the ryzen 5 7600 the cpu right now will unbundle with the gigabyte i believe or an asrock b 650m board goes for 330 dollars on you and that's why i really went with that one because this is a very good deal this is the cheapest cpu gpu combo that you can get out of all budget systems right now that will give you the best value for money and will give you the highest performance so basically compared to a 12700k or a 13600k build with a b660m or b760m board it will cost you around the same but the ryzen 5 7600 once paired with ddr5 compared to the 13600k ddr4 is actually a better performance in gaming so that doesn't mean that we're bottlenecked by the 13600k it means that we're getting a better performance but a cheaper money to be paid so it really speaks for itself and the board really speaks for itself it's kind of a mid-range to high-end board it actually goes for 180 dollars you're getting it for 100 ish you know if you decided to get it through that bundle so it's actually more than enough to go for a pc like that and i really like this cpu gpu combo you have to change the cpu cooler or you have to tune down the cpu settings in order to get the cpu run at around 70 to 75 degrees on gaming of course or high ex expensive or extensive tasks and the ram we're looking at 16 gigs to 8 gigabyte 6 of ddr5 4800 megahertz ram because this will save us money if we decided to go with that 16 gigs seems to be fine you can also upgrade in the future to 32 gigs or even 64 once you have the money to do so or once ddr5 ram becomes cheap and the ssd we're looking at a one terabyte m.2 ssd for 45 dollars this one from wd this is a wd green ssd so you're getting fast boot up times loading speeds and on top of all that you're getting really good space so yeah this is a very good pc for the budget that we have and you are not having any setbacks whatsoever and the gpu you know what it is this is the rtx 4070 ti and this is the star of the build this one goes for 800 to 820 dollars on amazon but there's one on newegg for 800 flat anyways this gpu is a very good one this is one of the best gpus that you can get for its price tag right now it's a very popular gpu everybody loves it even compared to the 7900 xt which performs better this one is still has these nvidia capabilities it has frame regeneration it has ray tracing a better performance at it so you really cannot go wrong and the power supply we're looking at a 700 watt 80 plus bronze certified power supply you can even go away with a 600 watt power supply believe it or not if you decided to do uh, some under vaulting so so yeah this is a pretty power efficient uh, pc but 700 watt seems to be the way to go uh, any other way and the case we're looking at a very cheap case that goes for 50 to 60 dollars that will house our parts just fine and you just don't need anything more than this it will get the job done and will keep the ventilation going but if you want an expensive case i'll link it down in the description and yeah that's about it if you like the video, press the like button if you want to see more videos that can subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace